Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create augmented reality application using uh, Vue4i engine and UD. So in this video I am going to show you how to configure Vue4i engine inside your uh, Unity engine and uh, how to develop uh, image target augmented reality application using uh, Vue4i engine. So first you need to uh, create uh, empty 3D project then uh, you must go to uh, this developer.view4ia.com then uh, create or login your uh, account then you can download the uh, unity engine uh, unity package so you can uh, click this button and uh, download the uh, unity package i already download the uh, unity package so i will import the package inside my uh, project now it's okay so then you need to configure your scene so first you need to delete this main camera so we do not need this uh, main camera anymore so then right click in the hierarchy and uh, import this AR camera inside the Vue4i engine category so then click this AR camera then scroll down in the inspector panel uh, you can see the uh, Vue4i behavior script then click this uh, open Vue4i engine configuration so then you need to add this uh, add, uh, app license key so we need to create a app license key so then again you need to go to uh, developer view4ia.com so then click this uh, my account then you need to go to uh, this uh, license tab so then you can uh, create a new license so click this uh, get basic button Then type a name for your license so I uh, select this name then click this uh, checkbox then confirm uh, you can see the uh, created uh, license name then click and go inside now copy this uh, license key so you need to paste inside this field now it's okay so then uh, I need to create a target uh, database so then go to target manager button then uh, create uh, generate a database so I want then uh, select a name for your database then uh, tick, uh, select the device category then uh, generate yeah. scroll down and you can find your uh, database name then uh, click it then you can add a target so I will add the image target so then you can upload any uh, jpg or png but uh, with uh, RGB 24 bit image. Uh, I will give one for width, then you can rename it, then add.
I can add another image. So the, now you can download the uh, image target database then click this download button and uh, select the unity editor then download. Then go to your unity project. Mm -hmm. Now you can import this uh, target database inside your project then import. So now you need to create a image target game object. Uh, right click and uh, go inside the view for AI engine. Yeah, you can see image target game object. Then click it and uh, you can see image target behavior script inside the type uh, you must select from database. Uh, in the database, uh, then you must uh, select your database then uh, for image target I will select this uh, testing one so you can see the our image is import, imported like this inside our scene window uh, then you can uh, put any game object as a child object this is our AR content create a second image target then I select another image perhaps so I will create uh, another 3d object SP so okay now we need to uh, change some uh, values in AR camera uh, go to AR camera then open Vuforia engine configuration in the uh, Vuforia engine configuration you can see the uh, max simultaneous uh, tracked image uh, number is one so in this case we have uh, two image targets therefore we need to increase this uh, one to two now it's okay and uh, now you can uh, save your scene now we can build it uh, your AR application so go to file then click build settings uh, then you need to select your uh, mobile uh, platform uh, in this case I use uh, Android mobile platform so then go to player settings we have uh, we need to uh, change some uh, settings in the uh, player settings uh, click this uh, other settings in this case uh, you need to untick this uh, auto graphic API uh, API then uh, you need to remove Vulkan graphics so also you need to change API level to uh, Android 8.0 then change this uh, scripting backend to IL2 CPP then uh, tick mark to ARM64 now it's okay you can close this uh, project setting window then you can build it so this is our final outcome of our uh, AR mobile application See you in next video. Thank you.